Alright, what is this letter that we have then? Evening. Hey, Abigail. Um, that's the... Inspect the letter. Usually it's Mary when I get a letter in camp. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. Oh, as if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully. Penelope Braithwaite. Is she really being nice or is this a trap? <laughs> I'm not sure I, uh, I trust her. Oh, that's going to be miles away though. It's all the way down the road. Man. Okay, well, I guess we'll do that after this next mission. I was wondering what had happened with those two. Um, oh, I'm really tempted to go down there now and do that. I do like Penelope and Bo. Should I go do that one? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna fast travel down and do that. Just because I'm a bit paranoid about missing things. I don't know how far like I can get without things suddenly no longer being available. Um, so I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll go to Amersburg. And nothing will distract us outside of that. Okay. Let's find Penelope. I really hope this isn't a trap. That's genuinely she wants to escape the boat. Because <laughs> that would be fine. This is it. Yeah. There's no one here, don't worry about it. That doesn't look like Penelope. That looks like a bloke. Oh wait, actually. I think that was not her. <laughs> She's sitting here. Oh, oh, you came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, the and they killed the her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or Bo's. Uh, you met them. They are animals. Yeah, they were Not great. even animals. Monsters. Monsters! If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo? Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both. I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. Go to roads. Can I not just get on my horse? I'll just say. I can say. <laughs> Seems a bit inefficient if they're expecting me to run all the way there. So what's going to happen to, uh... I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. They're not gonna see me though. Bo's like, just long. waiting at the station. Go along the shore line. I hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watch me so carefully, and he's waited or. So his letters say, our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. This doesn't seem like the right way. <laughs> that doesn't have anything to do with me. Lee They're Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. 
They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. I hope of. I have this fence. Something good has to it. come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been I'm hoping. I'm gonna go along the road. Bowen, I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. Yeah. But, yeah. As far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he? Bo? There are worse. He's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to laugh. He, he's a lot of things, but... And not strong like you, but strong enough to stand up to his family. To be different from folk. You don't know how hard that can be. To say something is wrong when everyone around you thinks it's right. No, perhaps I don't. I think he's gonna, though. He is a good man. He's lucky. Dutch You're both up. lucky to have each other. This could be the best day of my life, or the worst. I can't bear not knowing which. Well, I'm Hold hoping on. it's the best for you. It'll be clear soon enough. I'll probably have to go and get Bo now, will I? Because I've been, like, captured or something. There he is! Oh, he's here. Oh, okay. it's him! Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. <laughs> Make sure you guys get on the way fine. Oops, uh, I can't stop walking into that post. You came, you came, at last you came. Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. Oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Breakway. Oh, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Well, some of them jewels would do just fine. <laughs> Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. Of course. We'll meet you on the platform. Hold on. I haven't actually done the, um, the rest of the Olden thing, I've just realized. <coughs> Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Uh, of course. <sighs> oh, hello, sir. Hello, hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly. But good to see you. Hey. Uh -oh. Excuse me, Alden. Get the safe. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. I already smashed the button, London. Come back here without giving you a whipping. You should have done this. Ah. Uh-oh, there's two of them. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no! Get up. Stop grabbing me! You're gonna get hurt, cowboy. Get him, Scott. I'm doing really badly suddenly. Oh, I thought that guy went down. He went down temporarily, apparently. Yeah, I know. I'm not doing well, right? Get off. This guy is so grabby. I am not... Proven of it. Can I just stab him? Um, I can't seem to like, focus on the other guy. So. Whereabouts? Anywhere? <laughs> Probably anywhere. We're on the train. It's fine. Goodbye, folks. Hello, future. All right, all done. That is quite that was probably the worst fight I've done I so know. far. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half brother as a slave. So what do you expect? Good manners? Yes. My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly view. Yeah. Well. How delightful. Oh, my lord. Oh. What? Really? <gasps> I think it's my second cousin. What is with <laughs> these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. I 
Keep your heads down. Deal with this. Are we shooting these guys? Take out the thugs. Oh, no, Arthur. Why that side? Oops. What am I doing? What am I doing? the jewels she already said about that okay, i can't see him under the um they're coming from everywhere mate <laughs> that's my horse like doing bad for some reason and if so why what is going on with glowy why is she hurt if my horse dies, something to do with this mission, I'm going to be super pissed off. Um, Train is stopping. Take a look up front. What will you do? I'll I hope that my horse doesn't out. die or these guys will be in Driver, so much trouble. Driver, we're in the clear. Time to start this train again. Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister. <laughs> Let's see now. Um. Use the whistle. <laughs> What's the L people? I get to drive the train. Were you having to drive all the way to San Benito? Choo -choo. <laughs> I'm very visual. <laughs> I'm really concerned about Chloe right now. I don't know what happened and I don't like it. I'm wondering if she tried to follow me. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's pretty easy. If I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have <laughs> killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. Um, sure. Thanks. Thank you. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. That's very wise. Hey, you there. Mm -hmm. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! <gasps> Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? <laughs> on account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. All in. Yeah! Now I have to revive my horse, who I'm pretty sure is dying. 
Did she die? Chloe died! I can't do- no, 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 not having it. No, I'd rather reload. It's gotta be possible to revive her, right? I'm so pissed off. I'm so pissed off right now. My horse died. Glowy died because of that stupid mission. Because something happened to her along the way and I couldn't get off the train and go and save her. And now she's dead. I'm so mad. That is absolute rubbish. So now my horse is dead. And I just have a saddle. Cool. Super mad. Super mad. And I can't reload because the autosave kicked in afterwards. So my last save was like an hour and a half ago or something. And uh Go, girl. I'm not girl. pleased. <laughs> Basically, I shouldn't have come down and done this mission because it cost me my horse. So mad. Um, well, on that really irritating note, I might go and check out the stables. See if I find another horse that I really like. Because I'm mad now, and I'm feeling very sad. <laughs> that was the first time my horse died. She got shot before, but she didn't actually die. These people are not gonna be like trying to kill me. I want it dead or alive. I'm gonna try the Edith thing. I don't know why she's actually still here. Um, I would have thought that they'd left by now. Are they down the back or something? Why are you still here? You're supposed to bless Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Uh, Mama can't leave. Uh, won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. <gasps> sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards, uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm still feeling very, uh, frustrated about my loss of Chloe. This is my new horse I stopped to buy on the way. As you may be able to tell by the name, I am not pleased. <laughs> I may be feeling a little bitter about the fact that I lost Chloe. I'm just so annoyed. If I was, I don't know what happened. She must have been following the train or something, and then just I don't know, got hit by the train, killed by some other guys. Don't know. Never can get off the train. <sighs> Never mind. Done is done. I know I could go and get a replacement. Glowy, because I think some, I saw someone say they respawn, but uh, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right, man. So we'll just finish off with uh, this horse. Oops. 
So is this guy like kidnapped her or what? That's you want your life story. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. <laughs> Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son. Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Well, don't be. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. Where is my horse? Replacement, please come here. We're not bonded, see, so I can't uh, give it a proper name. It's <laughs> my excuse for being petty. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I'm sorry it had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> So I hope I don't make her sick. And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Why help yourself? Well, I'm trying to help you, but you I don't suppose want you're me. right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Been trying to do my good deeds. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Why is this so blocked off? <laughs> Stop blocking off all the paths, please. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. Hopefully. Well, if you are. Now I'm home. Yeah, he's there. That's fine. Alright. Shelly. I just realized I still don't have my Mama. hat. Mama! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh you silly boy. Yeah. Archie, what do we do? Get out of here. Go. Live someplace else. Start over. Here. Take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. Yeah. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for for pride, I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Man, all these missions are, like, really heavy. You know. I'm rapidly losing money. That's the end of that, though. Um... <laughs> yeah, because that horse cost me like $500 or something, so that was a big chunk of my money. 
Right, let's do this, Michael, then. Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. What the hell is going on, Michael? What is your problem? What is your problem, partner? Don't, uh, you don't look so good. What your is thing? wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Uh, Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town yeah. drunk. And they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. He's that so weaselly. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. Yeah. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't yeah. worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, because those laughs were very convincing of that, wasn't it? So, what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason his train. that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar. His oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. Yeah. We're wanted men. It isn't our job. So why did you go for John? Against my I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a and deal. Yet you're here trying it. What are you talking what? about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him. So and we all know his money is what's him? keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America. Arthur, and I want out, and he, he won't let us go. Oh, this is not going to go well. Sense, Dutch. It is not. We will, son. It's not making we any will. sense. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Also, the music kicking in right then was really like, <laughs> uh-oh, this is isn't going to go it, well. So. Let's get down here behind these crates. Oops. I can't get out of your way, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I hide behind this crate? I prefer this crate. <laughs> oh. Like, I'm half thinking Mike is some plant from a Colmo Driscoll trying to get him killed now. <laughs> I want to thank you for your hospitality, really Mr. Cornwall. It was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give 
two figs about feelings, sir, not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. <laughs> what was like... do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah, do no such that one, Dutch. <laughs> you sure? Good. Mike is gonna shoot him. This way. Oh, he's gonna shoot him. Noise, Arthur! Noise! What about the whole we want to deal thing? That doesn't look very dealy, does it? What did you think was gonna happen? They were in town! What the ah! Hell have you done? Get out of the water! Arthur! <laughs> um, can we please... What? I just... I just wanna get in cover! Arthur, I'm serious. Like, please just... Please. I want to find him, thanks. I feel like that. Man, we are shooting up another town. Oops. I know they're there, but let's go to that one. Let's go! Let's go! <sighs> okay, get out of this 
see uh, people from Space PC right now. <laughs> Leaving me. She is in. Come on. We can take the horses from that coach. What about my horse? Let's go. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, you lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us all. Go right. Whoa! Should have been tripped over the horse. Quick, get up, horse. I need you. Can you get on the horse, please? <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm coming. Ah! Oh! Damn. Well. I guess I will try not to uh, trip over the horse. <laughs> Oops. Raised to hijack point. Is that just going to put me back to the horse bit or is it going to be like a different area? Back right. to the horse bit. Let's head for the hills, boys. They're right. trying to block us all. This time, let's not trip over someone flipping horse, shall we? Nice. Oh, and through the through the woods. On the left, floor the bastard. I don't see them. There are too many trees. See now, the Dutch had a go at me about bringing down the law in our heads because we rescued John. And instead, oops, this is what he did. He's a little bit of a hypocrite right now, isn't he? I don't like this gun that I've got. I assume I have no other ones. I like my repeaters because you don't have to reload immediately between every shot. <laughs> yeah, I saw. Oops. Ah. Lost them. They literally just died. It's hardly losing them. Man, find my gun. Whoa. We all okay? Depends on what you uh... call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later, Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch! It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. <laughs> it looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Micah, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Micah, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's huh. changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. Nothing's changed, she says, as she cuts me out of the loop entirely. 
Yeah, I can totally see that. Uh, just a social call. Yeah. Uh, headshot three mounted enemies. I was gonna try that. Reach the horses within two minutes, 45 seconds. Complete mission without taking health items. I died. Well, I didn't die. Dutch died, so it's not technically a. Well, my fault that some silly Come horse got in my now. way. <laughs> so, what have we got now? We've got two missions. We've got Reverend Swanson. And. Oh, that lady's back. Charlotte. Gotta go see her at some point then. Um, and that's the Micah one, is it? This, like, is this area really just gonna stay red? No. <laughs> okay, let's go see Reverend Swanson then. Let's do that one first because it's nearby. And we've not seen him for a while, so yeah. I'm curious to know uh, what he wants. I might have a nap before we do it though. Have some food and have an out. Nope. <sighs> Man, Dutch is just stressing me out now. Like, he's just. He's just well. lost it. Completely. And he doesn't see it either. He's all like, oh, my friend here thinks that I've gone crazy and then proceeds to do something completely crazy and can't see why uh, I think he might have gone a bit crazy. <laughs> but, um, come on, man. All right, I'm gonna have a quick nap and then we'll speak to Reverend Swanson. Okay, naps achieved. Reverend Swanson, what do you need? <coughs> Reverend, <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? No. I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt. At least people are actually I've starting left to the like. Morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. No, we're not. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, fine. Pardon me for interrupting. Oh. Hello. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. I did wonder Hello. if um, Dutch. this is going to become a this mission where Charles Flash. said he'd been helping them out. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we uh, pretended to be mercenaries. He did me a great favor. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. The men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. Yes, we must. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. It Especially worked. not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us without adding armies to the list. Are we going to let these bastards walk all over you? No. Is you're this not. My horse? 
This is all that's wrong. I honestly don't world. remember what my horse looks like. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. Whose horse is that? Is that my Jim Brayles? They're waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. See, Dutch is playing like the Noble again, but we know that that's definitely a lie now. He's just becoming chaos. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. Yeah. I told you. Noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise. And faith. That poor guy. That just mind his own business. Charles the pacifist, the supposedly. For a second, the Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need so you want to make them have a fight one stone while we get cornwall away. was funding the pinkerton's assault on us why do you think i dealt with them with cornwall gone the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues especially if there's one more scandal and then we can slip away like i said we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. I don't know. That's the problem. I do not trust you. Because you are not thinking critically. And I had to get into the canoe now, so uh, this shouldn't be. There's important. Peter. Hi, Peter. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. Ah, uh, this is gonna go wrong. Or right. it's gonna go right and it'll start out. a war between the Indians and the army of... I don't actually know what game it is. Paddle out to the boat. So is this where the, the we need to get guy that boat is? Ashore. How's this gonna help them I get there? I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently. Border. And when we got control we'll deal with that anchor float away. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. There's a lot of red on my radar. Three dots of luck. Can't seem to like paddle. Abandoning the canoe early. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Oh. <laughs> so they can't see me, that guy at the end? Stealth look out. Side bit. I can't see the glare from the earth. 
I'm gonna go okay, smoke, alright? Be back in a bit. <laughs> oh, no, not again. I had a sniff of good hand all night. I'll be retiring in the morning at this point. Just the deal, Roy. There's like three guys there. How am I going to deal with three guys? Um. I'm in. Crazy. We can go higher than that. I think I messed up. I found a body. We have attackers on board. Shoot. We'll take it back. What's ours? Damn it. I messed that up, didn't I? Can I just punch him? No, I have technically not killed anyone. Anyway. <laughs> that one got punched, so no. Damn! Release the anchor. Um, how do I release the anger? These handles? Aren't you dealing with the anchor? I don't really know what I'm doing with it, so no. <laughs> Plant dynamite, is that what I'm doing? You think okay. I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up then. Right. Come on, Arthur. Lucky if we haven't killed the bloody horses by the end of this. What is wrong with you? The boys all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked, and we're taking on water. The boys, oh, get yeah, them out of here. Get the horses out, yeah. Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go out with the others? Okay. Uh. Okay. Over here, come on. No, not that way. You're going the wrong way, horse. Go the other way. Uh, can I not do anything about this? The horse just went the completely wrong way. Can I get off and go and get that horse? Try to get this horse and do it from the without drowning. Over here, come on. <laughs> you two go that way. I can't remember how to like shout with it. Go. Yeah. Go. What am I doing wrong? Come and go. I don't know. I'm just gonna take this horse. Screw it. Are they following me? Are they following me? Maybe that's it, I'm not supposed to be hiding and they're just gonna follow me. <laughs> Overcomplicating things again. Instructions unclear. Oh, why is the music still so tense? I got my knife out too. Switch to this horse. Over here, come on. <laughs> oh no, they're also uh, pretty tired. Uh oh, that's okay. 
We made it. We made it. It's fine. Of course, their stamina will also be going down. Well, I won't have got the time thing with there's a time on for this because I've taken ages to do this mission. We got your horses. Well, Arthur. W oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Yes. Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. It's... I understand. Thank you, Arthur. It's untenable. That's what it is. It's the thing not to kill anyone. Oh. Okay. Oh, they only had to knock out two soldiers on the boat, which is what I did. Damn, if I'd known that, I would have just gone haywire on them. <laughs> and then round up the horses. Yeah, I messed that up because I got confused. <laughs> so, what did that give me then? Is that giving me a new side mission or is that a... Uh, thing? Oh, I was like, who the heck's that? I thought that was my camp for a second. That's the, um, the old person. So, okay, that one counts as a main mission then. So if I'd said no, would that not, would I not have gotten this? I don't know. Oh, and I got Sadie one down there. So that's the calm one. I got loads of missions. Ah, oh, the, the, the torn, don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe I'll do the Michael one first. Because I'm nearby. I don't really want to. Sealing the wagon. That's what we're doing, is it? Um, okay. Let's go and do that. If I can figure out how to get off this beach, I can't flip and see. It's dark. It's very dark. Our last one for today. <sighs> I don't want to have anything to do with Micah. He's like stereotypical bad guy. All of the bad vibes. Hi, asswipe. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Oh, is that so? Because mm. it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares think too much what you think. It's a bad idea, too. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. 
He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone yeah. knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same Dutch's as the rest of us. Dutch's choice the guy who's been piping Only on about Blackwater. Well. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. <laughs> Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. do you, you boys know. got this. Shit. Yes, we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? Can't we just kill him? <laughs> like, I'm... So over Micah now. All right, let's go. Like, I just, I just, I, I'm up to here with him. Like, Micah says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. Oh, that's exactly so you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> A pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol, over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So, you were saying? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Watch it! You all keep yeah. turning to the road. I'm just trying to ride. Like, there's a rift, like, coming through the gang, isn't there? Like, there's John and, sort of, Charles on my side. Okay. For sure. Let's hold up here. Oh, why did I get off my horse? So, oh, wait. I think I wagon will come from that way. We're gonna now get it spurt. here. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. Doesn't say I much for a uh, bill of I'm the that. better shot. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. Where are we going up to? Going up. I can't see. Like, why does the mission have to be at night time when it's so dark that you can't flip and see what you're doing? Huh? Oops, I think we're going that way. <laughs> yes, I know. I took too long. I don't know where I'm going. Instructions unclear. <laughs> Oh, now it's light. Thanks. Yeah, see that? That, that helps. Much better. Take the bill. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm not good with sniper rifle type things. I'm coming, I'm coming! Well, I would be if I stopped getting stuck on the building. So we have to not get blown up. You're driving, right? All right, let's see if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that one. Nice shooting back there. Nice drug playing. Comes naturally. Ooh. I could use a drink after that. Oh, uh, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Of course not. Ah. This is not a good gun to have. Do I not have a different one? A bolt action rifle, that's not just as bad. Just as bad. Yeah, I'm trying. Someone ahead of us, lolling behind us. Um. On our right, Arthur. Get away. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Before they blow us behind. Yeah, I'm trying. Shut up. <laughs> the pressure does not help. We're just leaving a trail of dead bodies going towards our camp. Here come all of them to deal with this. We're leading them right back to camp. What That's what you I said. Uh, is that just the one? That's fine. Oh, okay. I don't see any more. All right. Oh, oh that was close. Don't reckon I'm. Cut out to be a dynamite wagon. <laughs> I'm not sure anybody is. Let's face it. Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite and blow up a bridge. Do I have to drive? Does this make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. That's it's good, because it us. definitely does not. It's our plan. You know, I've had it with a moment. Look, there's Mike up ahead. Great. Yeah. With it. You got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive oh, this sorry. over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. That on? always made me sweat. Listen. <laughs> Just I know like... we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating, and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah, whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur, but I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said... Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. <laughs> Man, this is just like some kind of nightmare. Can we please wake up already? Ugh. Headshot with the long, long scope. I can't even really see them, let alone headshot them, so that's never happening. <laughs> Ugh. Man, I've just got like just all of the rage right now with Micah and his just like ah, it's rubbing me the wrong way. Rub me the wrong way. So the only missions we've got now are the Rainfall one, Sadie one, and I'm going to see Charlotte. Um So that's probably enough, I think, for today. I'm not sure that my heart can take the rage. <laughs> I need to decompress after all of the micaness. <laughs> just feel bad. I feel bad. And losing Glowy, that didn't help either. Oh, that was a bad, uh, a bad run. 
I got bounties like left, right, and center. Look at it. Well, how much is my bounty here now? Because this is a different thing. Only twenty dollars, but still gonna be a pain in the ass. See that covers that bit. This whole this bit. So why is this bit all red? Okay, well, on the next episode, I think I will probably pick up going and doing the Charlotte one. Get her some food. I think that's what's going to be. And then maybe we'll go see the Rainfalls guy. And then do the Sadie one. To deal with calm. I'm so stressed right now. <laughs> the tone of this game has just changed so much within like the last two parts. It's ridiculous.